Good morning, my Aquamotion mermaids. Okay, just realized that my head is uh, not showing. There we go. That was a little bit too much. Not that you really want to see my head anyways, but sometimes you read my lips, right? Okay, so today is Thursday, and we are up, we are ready, we are feeling good, and what do you need today? You need your weights. You need, what else? Um, shoes, good shoes today would actually be okay because we're gonna do some lunges and squats, but it's up to you. If you're on a chair, a good solid chair, don't use a cushy one, um, and definitely get out of your Barco lounger. Do you know they actually sell a Barco lounger at Costco? I saw that the other day. Thought that was kind of funny because I really didn't call. know. <laughs> Called I, a it's called a Barca Lounger. I had no idea. I just remember somebody back in the day used to say that. Like, okay, I like that too. All right. Nice big press. Squeeze those thighs. Let's get things loosey goosey and warm it up. So remember, we are going to do a big old celebration in March, celebrating 100 videos that we have done this year since we've gone into COVID lockdown so in February every time you watch every time you share you're gonna get your name into a drawing so tricep press push push and you know how we like prizes right like I won this shirt from WeFa so it's like a prize I am so excited I really wanted to win the book but I got a shirt so I'll get more use out of the shirt, probably. All right, let's tap out to the side. A little side raise with those arms. Working those shoulders, getting them all loosey-goosey. So today is our resistance. We've got a little balance. And of course, we got some squats and lunges to work on those strong lower body muscles. All right, let's tap it to the back. So my name is Linda Harding Hicks. This is Carlene Sawyer. And we are here from Aqua Motion Ability Foundation. And we have been offering free videos with the Pink Ribbon Place all year long. And we're still here. We'd rather be in the water, but we're still here. And these workouts are designed for my people who are not as mobile. So if you are super duper fit, you may find this is not as challenging for you. Pull that knee up. So you might want to pick some other videos or take a couple of our videos and put them together. And that'll make yourself a nice hard workout. Remember our goal is try to do 30 minutes minimum a day, every single day. One hour would be better. 90 minutes would be even better. All right, you guys ready to start sweating? So grab those weights and let's get rolling. So, a little bit heavier today, if you can, and we are going to start with a toe touch. We're not going to do it to the beat. And I want you to take your arm and try to reach it to your toe with your weights in your hand. Say, owie. So, stretching out that hamstring a little bit while we're still here. Warming up those abs, hip flexors, and we got some shoulder action here. Let's do four more, three more, here's two, and one more time. All right, we're gonna lunge back tricep. So chair people, you can either do a squat and stand up, or you can just sit in your chair and focus on those arms. So what do I wanna see? The biggest mistake I see is people start doing this. This is not your tricep. Hold your elbows up like a grasshopper and press those hands behind. If the legs make it too confusing, stop doing the legs. It's okay. Focus on those arms. Nice big presses. Come on. Keep pushing. Don't stop. I want to burn it. Two more. One more time. Now let's go to a side tap, side tap, side tap. I don't think I locked my video or my thing. 
Hold on. One brief moment. So what happens is I try to slow the music down and it gets too fast. And there you go. So we are gonna slow this baby down. I'm gonna lock it. All right, now we go. Ooh, because that was way too fast, right? All right, here we go. Out to the side. Oh, so much better. Now you probably are going, what? What? One side. One side. Lift. 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 So we're just doing a little side tap. Think of that little break as your break. I won't give you any more, all right? All right, four more this side. Four. Three. Two. One more. Roll those shoulders back. Pull and down. Pull. Ah. All right, you ready? Tap out to the side. Side. Ready to add that arm? Here we go. Lift and lift. So out to the side. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah good on the left, I guess. Okay, so we were talking about with a couple of my clients about the importance for dementia of using your brain. So right here is a perfect example of how you're having to use your brain to get those arms and legs working together. Four more. Three more. Two. One more time. All right, wide squat. Down and up. Bicep curl. Pull. And pull. So on this one, tuck your buns under. Make sure when you're at the bottom of the move, that your knees are not over your toes. So not this, we're not ballet, okay? We wanna be wide and protect our knees, keeping them behind the toes. Let's do four, three, two, one more time. Shake it out, shake it out. All right, chair people, you're gonna do a little front tap. We're gonna do a butt kick right here. Butt kick, hands up and push, push. So you've got to hold your core super tight on this one, especially if you've got the heavier weights. And remember, don't pop your elbow. Super important. Four more, see that's easy. Two more, one more time. All right, here we go. Lunge to your right, lunge to your left. Now, share people, you're not gonna do this, okay? But you will do the row. Reach, pull those elbows up, elbows up. Chins up, elbows back. So at the top of the move, you should look like that grasshopper again. All right, so reaching one way. So again, thinking, oh my gosh, your poor brain. Keep going. Woo! Now, let's add a squat in the middle, right here, squat, tricep. Now lunge, right here. Tricep, lunge, tricep, lunge, tricep. So putting a few things together here. So we've got our upper back here, tricep here. Upper back here, tricep. Woo! Oh yeah. Oh, push. Say, hurt me, Linda. I want to feel some good pain. One more time. Woo! All right, right here. Pull those knees up. Knees up. Woo! Looking good, guys. Let's do four more here. Three, two. Now, feet closer together for a squat here. Chair people, I want you to actually squat up and down. So you can either cross hands over your chest, stand up, sit down. Regular people, you can just have them hanging at your side. So we're thinking about our butt right now. All right, so we're working our quads and our glutes. And we want tight glutes. So my other group, one of the problems I see a lot, couple things. Look at my legs right now, hip, knee, toe. Everything facing the same direction. So if you're one of those people that needs to turn out, that's okay. 
A little turnout is okay. Keep going. Woo! Four more. Three more. Here's two. One more time. All right, now hold it right here. Shoulder press. So we're just gonna hold this position. Press your hands straight up. My hat's in the way. So I'm leaning back just a little. Don't lean back, guys. Straight up. Now, if you have bad shoulders, take this out. Go back to a bicep, tricep, something else. Some of you, this is gonna be really hard. Four more. Three more. Two. One more time. Now bring it down, straight arms. Lift, straight back. Lift, straight back. Lift. Such weird songs. <laughs> All right, lift. So this is rear deltoid. Squeeze the back of your arm. Squeeze. Squeeze. Yes. Woo. Four more times. Two more. One more time. All right, now one knee up. Hammer curl. So cheer people, you can do one knee up too. Make sure you're sitting really strong. You all need to tighten up that core. So now we're doing balance. Four more here. Four. Three. Two, don't fall. Shake it out, switch legs. Ready? Other leg. Hammer, pull. So hammer means I'm holding the weight like a hammer. And now notice your ankle, notice your feet. So if you're standing up, you're really gonna notice your feet, your ankles, your knee, maybe your hip. Two more, one more time. Chair people, if you wanna stand up, you can. We're gonna do a leg lift out to the side. Leg lift to the side. Lift the arm to the front. So, another balance element. We have a leg going sideways. We have an arm going forward. So, you might feel that you're gonna fall. Uh, yes. Perfect. Oh, look at that. She figured it out. Little tricky with the chair. If you wanna stay in your chair and just do the arm, two more. That's okay, one more time. Now we're switching, here we go. So watch Carlene if you're standing. Arm to the front, leg to the side. And lift, and lift. Woo, yes. Squeeze that butt right there. Now notice the leg you're standing on. Notice that hip. That's the one probably hurting the most, right? Two more. One more time, chair people, sit back down. Let's get into our lunge position. One arm row. Now, you guys, you get strong upper backs. So if you wanna put both weights in your hand, make it heavy, this is the time to do it. Suck that core in tight, tummy tight. Engage all the muscles. Think about that pelvic floor lifting from the bottom. Nice deep rhythmic breathing. Four more. Exhale. Exhale. Two. One more time. Let's switch sides. Again, try to do those two weights in one hand. Hand on that thigh for extra support if you've got back issues. So you don't want to just lean over. Some of you, that's gonna be too much for your backs. And pull. So back to that grasshopper elbow. Pull that elbow up. Long spine. Let's keep an eye visual point kind of out in front of you. Not at your toe, don't look at your toe. Four more. Two more. One more time. All right, bring it in. You guys ready to head to the floor? All right, I didn't bring a mat. That's okay. Right there. We sure. do? Oh, I do have a mat. Hold on. We have one. All right, let's lay it down on the floor. Let's do a little chest work before we finish up here. So, 
Bring yourself down to the floor. Chair people, you're gonna lean back in your chair so that you can get that chest activation. Um, make sure your chair's solid. This one, I would actually let you go on the couch. So let's start with our feet about hip width apart, hands together in front of you, and let's do a push up. Down, push up. So this is our push up with our weights, otherwise called a chest press. But if you flipped over, it'd be a push up. Which one would be harder? Is a push up harder than a chest press? With these weights, I'm gonna say big time. Now, if I put a bunch of weight on here, then this would be hard. Let's do four more. Now we're gonna add to it. You're gonna go one out and then one elbows in. So one out, now slide the elbows past your waist. One out, slide your elbows past your waist. One out, one elbows in. Elbows out. Now make sure the weight is above your chest. So you don't want it way up here. You want it over your chest. And elbows in. Why? Elbows in. Let's do two more sets. Two. One more set. One. All right, let's reach those arms way up. So way up and over and pull it down. So again, if you're in your chair, same thing. Just lean your body back. Elbows stay soft. Now you wanna feel this from like the bottom of your shoulder blade. So right behind those armpits. Big reach and pull. Let's do four more. Three more times. Here comes two. And one more time. Now this time, let's hold it at the top. Hold it at the top. Bend and straighten. Now, if your weights are too heavy, get rid of one of them and hold one weight. Let's bend and straighten. All the way up, elbows close. Get them close. Make those triceps scream. Let's do four more. Two more times, now listen. We're gonna go three down, one up. So it's down, 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 push up. Down, 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 push up. Down and push up. Remember, don't hit your head. It would hurt. Maybe knock some sense into us, right? Down. Two more times. One more time. All right, hands together. I want you to give, let's see, what do we have coming up? The Easter Bunny. We're gonna hug Easter Bunny. Or, if you're into hiking like we are lately, you're gonna hug Smokey Bear. So give him a big hug. So soft elbows, they stay round. But you're hugging that bear right there. This is really good for your cleavage. Work those pectorals. Four more just like that. Three. Two more times. One more time. Now, if you want to set those weights down, chair people, you're going to lift a knee. Floor people, you're going to lift your shoulders. Super important. Do not just move your head, okay? I don't want you pulling on your head. I want you to stay wide, long neck. Lift from the tummy. Push that belly button down. Push it down. So squeeze it down tight. If you're in a chair, same thing. You're still thinking about that belly button. You're thinking about pushing it behind you. But in your case, you're gonna lift a knee as you curl your body up. Curl it up. Don't get too used to that because I don't want you slouching after this. But we still wanna work rectus abdominis, right? Super important muscle. Four more times. Two more. One more time, bring those knees in, stretch it out. Nice 
job, guys. One foot down, one knee in. So you can either bend the knee or extend it, depending on how that feels. If it doesn't feel good here, then just bend it. No big deal. Everybody try to straighten that top leg. So you might want to bend your knee for this one. Make sure the back is pressed down. Don't pull hard. It's supposed to feel good. So go to where you can, then grab and give it just the tiny, winesiest little pull. Now flex that foot, little deeper stretch. So if you're in a chair, another option would be to flip around, put your foot up on the edge of the chair and hold the chair, if you could. No stress though. I want you to feel good about this. Now cross that ankle over, push that knee away. Now, if you have a hip replacement, are you doing this? Probably not, all right? So you're just gonna keep it here and pull that knee in as best you can. All right, let's pull that other knee in, hold. Bend or straighten that bottom one, doesn't matter. You pick which one is most comfortable for you. Very nice. Now straighten that top leg out. Hold it gently, gently, gently. So a good way to do this is go up to the pain where you go, ooh, and then let go just a little bit. So don't try to go into that pain because the muscle actually will contract. That's not stretching. All right, flex that foot a little deeper. And some of you may be way over here, that's okay. If you're feeling a stretch and you're right here, that is absolutely fine. Now, if you don't have a hip replacement, cross over, everybody else stay there, and push that knee away. Woo! All right, chair people stay where you're at, floor people grab a knee and roll it up. And let's sit right here, nice and tall, wherever you're at, roll those shoulders back. Roll them back. Put my hat back on, it's a little sunny out here. I hope you're all outside. It's a beautiful day. It was a really blue sky, but that's gone now. Uh, there. Oh, there's blue over there. Two more. One more. All right, let's look right and left. So remember our goal is that you do a workout every single day. Linda, where do I get these videos? I'm loving them. Hey, you can go to YouTube, look up Aquamotion Ability Foundation and all of these videos are on there free. We love free. Drop that ear to your shoulder, ear, ear. And you can pick it by department. So you just did a, a, a weight and resistance workout. So maybe you wanna get your heart rate up a little more. So you're gonna to go to the cardio section and pick out one of the cardio videos. So you have a nice, well-rounded workout. All right, let's roll out that head, guys. Roll out that stress. Remember, don't go to the back, touch it. Come to the front. We don't wanna grind those vertebrae together. Trust me on that one. One more each side. All right, bring it out, take a nice deep breath in. Blow it out. <sighs> nice, deep breath in again. Deep breath in. Blow it out. Let's do that one more time. Ready? Deep breath in. Blow it out. Give yourself a great big hug. Say, oh my gosh, I'm so amazing. You guys, go have a great day. Thank you so much for coming. Thank Pink Ribbon Place for this video. Feel free to send them a comment about how much you love it. And keep coming back, okay guys? We'll see you Tuesday. 11 o'clock. Thank you for being here.